morning girls let us see how to interface this stepper motor with a microprocessor 8085 so before we start with the interfacing this is a stepper motor which moves only in integral number of steps and it depends on the torque of this stepper motor for it to decide on how many number of steps it is taking that for this uh, stepper motor that we have taken it completes 200 steps in one rotation so each step will be 360 by 200 so it's moving by an angle of 1.8 degrees you can have half step two steps depending on the different types what we are choosing here is 200 steps in one rotation now this is one which moves only through one steps it can be moved through clockwise direction or it can be moved through anti-clockwise direction and here you have a circuit here these solenoids these are made of solenoids and this is a driver circuit which is driving the stepper motor this is a power needed is connected here it is actually having four motors it is one is rotor one is a rotator one is a stator about the stator it will be moving in either clockwise or anti-clockwise so depending on you have eight blades here when it comes in contact with the four different directions the magnetic poles then because of the force of attraction it stops there for a while and then continues rotating about it so this Darlington pair which is connected here in the form of a driver circuit is able to it, this is able to rotate this motor now this is a flat cable connected to 8 to 5 this is another interesting example wherein you are interfacing microprocessor with the stepper motor through your programmable peripheral interface that is 8 to 5 once again, as we have seen in the earlier case, this is a strap here, this is number 1, this is 0. So that has to be connected here. This can be made, the connection can be made only this way. By mistake, suppose you turn, twist the other way, it won't fix here. So this is just standard connection that you are making. Now, what is it that you are doing? You are sending this data 0D, 0E, 07, 0B in a particular order for the clock to move in the clockwise direction for the stepper motor to move in the clockwise direction if you reverse this data that means 0b 07 0e and 0d it will be rotating in the anti clockwise direction so what actually happens it is actually there is a commutator at a time two at a time only will be coming into picture so either these two or these two that is how the configuration is given for the data here now what is this program that we are writing here once again, AT is a control word to make it as an IO mode, not as a BSR mode. For a BSR mode, it would be 0. And that you are sending it into control port. Then, move immediate A, first data, 0D is coming here. And you are using port C. The information is transferred from 8 to 55 to port C here. Port C. From here, it is transferred to port C. From port C, it is transferred here. You can use any one of the ports, but we are using here a port C in particular. So send the first data to port C and you want it to be available on the port for certain amount of delay. So the delay is written as a subroutine here and we are calling it as a delay 1. Then second data. What is the second data? Whatever is the second data that you are sending here? It can be either this order or this order. Suppose I send this data. Then you send it to this port C. Once again call it here. Then second data is over. Then third data. Output it to port A, call the delay. After all the four data items are being sent to the port C with appropriate delay, what are we doing? We are jumping it back to the start. That means you send the information to all the different values onto the port and you want the sequence to be repeated. So simply jump back. Then delay 1, what are we calling? In delay 1, we are calling another delay. It's actually a delay, it's a nested delay. Calling another delay. Delay 2 is located here. We are using a register pair here to improve and to increase the delay and this delay will be multiplied by the number what you are feeding here. This is only to see a perceivable change in the motor rotation. We are increasing the delay and we are keeping the delays one inside the other as a nested delay. Therefore, we are able to see this rotation. So now what we do is we set go to F1000. We have entered the program and say execute. You see that the stepper motor is moving in the what, which direction? It's moving in the anti-clockwise direction. There is a line here. If you concentrate on this, you see that it is moving in this direction. Now, 
Now, to feed the data in the other direction, we just go to that appropriate locations F005, 0D is there. Now we will give 0B. Next location is 0C. 0E was there. Now we will feed 07. Next location 13. 07 is there. Now we give 0E. Then next location 1A. 0B is there. We will give 0D. Next. Once again we will set go to starting location at 0. Now it's moving in the reverse direction. Anticlockwise, clockwise. So one is called clockwise, the other one will be anticlockwise, and this process will be repeated. This is an experiment, and this step of motor is basically has many different applications. One interesting application of this is to track the sun movement. Sunflower, as you all know, it tracks towards uh, in the morning it will be towards the sun, that is, it will be towards the east side. And when the sun comes back to the west in the evening, the sunflower also will be rotating towards west. This is a natural phenomena that is taking place. So this sepo motor can be used to track the sun. So in the morning it will be moving in this direction. And then by the afternoon it will be moving in the other direction. If you call this as a clockwise direction, this will be in the anticlockwise direction. This is one interesting application of sepo.